Hello everyone, this is Crody giving you a shoutcast and another game between MYM Cloud and ATN Zoke <coughs> here on Valhalla. <coughs> Excuse me. ATN Zoke spawning as the light blue Protoss player on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, MYM Cloud this time spawning as the pretty in pink Terran on the top right hand side. This is Valhalla and apparently Cloud, this is the first time Cloud has played on it. Now, this map does have a, a choke point, a ramp, and then you have a very, very close natural expansion. It isn't as close as the previous map, Fighting Spirit. And then from there, you also have another expansion right here. And then uh, Zoke telling Valhalla, this is where you go after you die. So uh, I, I thought there was like some sort of challenge in there, like, haha, you are already celebrating your death and defeat. But no, that is not the case. I am not a Viking like you. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you can be if you stop using stem back <laughs> all right so a little bit of teasing going going on here between the two players Zoke just laughing at the fact that cloud uses a lot of marines and marauders most likely saying hey try using you know air or siege tanks hellions mech it, it may work out for you a probe now making its way out across the map as well <laughs> The addiction level of stim packs are too strong. Yes, there has been, there has been what um, Confederate reports that stim packs are addictive. And SCV now coming over to try to push back this probe. The probe is now on its way home. It will be able to return back up that ramp. Taking a look at the production tab. Oh, the probe is deciding to battle against the SCV. And now the probe has actually taken some actual damage. The probe, or the SCB now um, perhaps scouting in the wrong direction, thinking that there is no chance in heck that Zoke would actually lead the probe back inside his own base. But Cloud getting completely head faked now. The probe now inside the base, we do see a supply depot back over here as well as we also have a refinery coming into play. Back here, SCV now just still wandering around. It will be um, scouting in the clockwise direction and it will be quite some time before it figures out what exactly is happening and where his opponent has spawned. Taking a look into Zoke, Zoke does have a Zealot, an early Zealot now being trained and already being rallied straight into the base of Cloud. Cloud, by getting this early Reaper, it will help him out in order to deal with that Zealot. Um, Reapers deal 18 damage per attack towards the Zealot and 16 damage per attack once the shields are gone. But because the Reaper does move faster and is a range attack, um, he is able to kite that Zealot for a decent amount of time. A Marine is just still wandering around trying to figure out where exactly it can move off to at this stage and time. A Zealot now going to simply come into here and one poor Marine going to try to start damaging that Zealot. The Marine needs to pull back. The Reaper also needs to join in on that fight. And now that Reaper just going to start kiting that Zealot, getting a d decent amount of distance. And now that Zealot has been taken down. So... Early Zealot already destroyed. A barracks now training up uh, or adding a reactor as well. And this is going to be an expansion attempt. As a Stalker now coming in. So the Stalker going straight after the SCV of Cloud. The SCV is going to get destroyed. A bunker now trying to be built as well. But because the barracks lifted off, um, Zoke is going to get a lot of damage early on. I thought perhaps that maybe Cloud would try to train up a Marauder, but by doing that little bit of a swap in order to add a Reactor, he is definitely behind the 8-ball now. He's going to have a very difficult time trying to get enough units. He needs to leave this command center here in order to take a lot of damage, soak up damage, and perhaps delay those Stalkers. But no, those Stalkers are already coming in. Concussive Shell now being re no, Stimpak now being researched as another SCV going to get picked off here. And now... This really is Valhalla for Cloud, as Cloud is not going to be able to do very much. SCVs and Marines coming in. Marines and taking a decent amount of damage already. SCVs also joining in on that fight, and a Marauder joining in as well. And those Stalkers finally in full retreat. A bunker now being placed down here. It is going to be two, one Marauder, two Marines, and an, SC, uh, and an SCV. Both sides battling it out. The, the one Stalker now pulling away. Both sides trying to micro as far and as long as they can. That one Marauder down to 8 hit points. And it does get taken down by an SCV. So the SCV has a kill. A Marine and an SCV over here. Zolke continuing the pressure. Gonna get two more kills there. Perhaps get some damage onto the SCV. SCV now picked off. And now one Stalker, two Stalkers continuing to battle it out. The bunker will be finished. And as soon as Cloud gets this bunker, he should be able to defend his expansion fairly well so that sh and will be able to help zoke apparently need to pause the game for just a moment 
and now Zoke is going to just continue to get as many units as he possibly can. He does have Warp Gate already up, getting the Nexus, no robotics facility. So it will be a little bit of time now, but the Stalkers are already on the move. Once again, three Stalkers against a Bunker with a Marauder and two Marines also. No combat, uh, no concussive shell just quite yet, only stim pack. And will it be enough? The Marauders and the Marines are trying to chase a little bit. And now the Marauder inside the bunker able to get some damage. Inside the bunker, the Marauder does have a range of 7, so that is a decent amount of range. Perhaps a, sunk a second bunker should be placed down as well, perhaps a little bit further or even right here. And making it very difficult for the stalkers to try to even push out. I do not see a probe moving out yet. There's a probe over here. Perhaps it will try to do something. He it can warp in a pylon and then perhaps even go for a stargate. A stargate right here with void rays would be able to deal a lot of damage as the void ray off on this side would be able to start charging up against those SCVs and even that command center orbital command there. Marines, Marauders now trying to hold off the attack. Additional gateways, three more gateways now being warped in. So it is going to be a five gate push running off of two bases. A lot of mineral patches currently being mined. Look, taking a look at the income 36 harvesters for Zolke, 22 for Cloud. Cloud is definitely, definitely in trouble if Zolke is able to capitalize on his current economic advantage. But now SCV is moving out, and this may be an all-in effort. Yes, all-in effort coming in from Cloud to try to fight back. He knows that he cannot let um, Zolke just sit back and ma macro up all the way. Force fields now being placed down, splitting up that army, getting more kills there. Another force field could be coming in just a second. SCVs are now um, just charging up the round probes. Need to get some damage as well, and that those couple Marines are going to get taken down. One Marauder over here trying to come back to the rally point. Stalkers now being warped in. Uh, SCVs taking a lot of that damage. Probes perhaps going to try to flank those Marauders from being able to move away, essentially dealing 20 damage to those Stalker or those Marauders as those Marauders were forced to use those stim packs in order to get away. Down goes one probe there. Stalker now getting choked up behind one of its own sentries. But unit wise, 34 probes versus 13 SCVs and five marauders versus five stalkers, five sentries, and three zealots. Currently, Zoke has about triple the army food count. And as soon as he warps in and waits for his um, warp gates to finish um, finish on that cooldown, he will be able to warp in much more as well. There you go, warping in three additional, four additional units, one more, five, and now comes the push. There is a mar double bunkers in or double marauders in that bunker, the lowest hit point marauders, in order to make sure that they are able to get a decent amount of damage and not focus fire down that quickly. Income wise. 38 versus 19. Is it going to be enough as those Zealots now absorbing a lot of that damage? Guardian Shield now up. Marines now trying to come in. Force Fields blocking. SCVs are going to get picked apart. Down goes the Bunker. Stalkers and Sentries in position. Force Fields blocking the ramp. And that is GG. So Cloud losing game two on Valhalla very, very quickly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed game two in this best of three series. Stay tuned for game three.